What's up, everybody? All right, this video is for anybody who has a loved one, adult, child, or infant in the intensive care unit with sick lungs that's on a mechanical ventilator. I've noticed that parents are often very focused on the oxygen saturation level on the monitor and how it changes minute to minute. And that's legitimate. That is a great thing to focus on. And it's what we're focused on as well. But there's another number that I think is equally, if not more important that we need to pay attention to. And that's the FiO2. So remember that the FiO2 is the amount of oxygen that we're giving in the gas that's supplied by the ventilator. It can be 21% at the lowest, 100% at the highest. The nurse or respiratory therapist is diligently adjusting this and monitoring the patient's oxygen saturation level to keep that number in a safe range. So the point I wanna make is, if overnight you told me that a patient had oxygen saturation levels of say 93 to 95%, but the ventilator was requiring 80% FiO2 to get them there, that might make me a little nervous. Conversely, if you told me that the patient's saturation this morning is 90 to 91%, but we're only requiring 32% oxygen from the ventilator to get there, that makes me feel really happy. And so the point I'm making is that the fluctuations in the oxygen saturation matter. I'm not saying they don't. But generally speaking, a trend that can be very helpful in deciding if the lungs are getting better or worse is how much FiO2 or how much oxygen are we having to give the patient to keep that number in a generally normal range. 